Today we are going to talk about skin cancer and how you can protect your skin from sunlight. And of course, we're going to talk about also what type of skin you have and I have. And that is part one for skin cancer that I will be talking right now. Stay tuned. And this is your Products Natural, Natural Health Consultant, Joanne Passer. We all know that it is summertime. If you're watching from Canada or any country have four seasons, of course, summertime. It means that outdoor activity is the most fun thing to do. And everybody is outside doing sports or just enjoying the sunshine but if you're watching from other country that all year round it's summer well I think you understand the sun shine that's heating on you especially for me I go up in the Philippines all year round it's really really hot and of course we sometimes don't even care about our skin as i was growing up who cares why do i care about my skin but since i went abroad and get education and more in depth into science i truly believe that we have to take care of ourselves, not only what's within us, what are we putting inside, but also what we have in the outer layer of our body. And that is, of course, the skin, which is play an important role to a human body. So why I have to talk about skin cancer? And of course, discussing about what type of skin you have and how can you protect your skin from? UV ray is known as ultraviolet radiation. It has some benefits most especially vitamin D, but it can cause also a health risk. What was my mistake here? Not following instruction, it stayed too long under the sun, and of course, not fully understand what is UV ray and what is UVC, what is UVB. What are the difference of the three? And most especially, I work in the health industry and I should have to know all of this. And I wanted to share this to you. There are main causes of skin cancer. Some are sun harmful ultraviolet rays. And some will say UV tanning beds. And of course, hereditary as well. Good news of the skin cancer, if it caught early, your dermatologist can treat it with little or no surgery at all and eliminating it entirely. That is why don't forget your sunscreen and use it properly. Join me next time for chemical and mineral type of sunscreen for part 2.